Oh, I mean, I always had faith um, in our defense and our game. You know, we talked about it last night. We talked about this being a grind game. We knew it was going to be uh, rainy, and we knew it was going to be a little bit cold. So we knew it was going to have to go all the way down to, um, you know, the last second. I, you know, no way you can visualize it being like this, but we knew it was going to be a tough game. So, you know, starting the second half, you know, it, it, it just fell into uh, exactly what we expected. We gave two, I mean, we gave two of them close, too. I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, we gave two of them close. I mean, but, you know, I, I just got faith in my brothers. I got faith in, um, you know, our coaching staff, um, you know, Coach McDermott, Coach Frazier, Coach Washington. You know, um, confidence is at an all-time high, and we just keep playing until the clock says zero. You know, games are just gonna be like this. Um, in 2015, we won a Super Bowl. I think we won nine. We won nine games within three points or less. Like that's just how it is. You know, when you playing, when you're a good team, you're playing good teams. They're gonna be close. Um, it's gratifying. Last week was a was a was a dog game as well. You know, and it came down to, the, you know, to the very very end of it. And um, I think, uh, you know, having that on our minds and having that on our souls, you coming into this game, you know, we. You know, we, we wanted to win. We just wanted to, you know, keep playing until it says zero. And, you know, it's just uh, football guys, it just, it just fell our way this week. Uh, you mentioned keep playing until it says zero. That play in the second quarter, it looked like you had Lamar. He got out of it somehow. He launches one down. It looked like it might have been an interception. When you have a play go that way against you, how do you avoid kind of saying, man, maybe today just isn't our day. Keep, keep your head down and keep playing. No, nah, never. You know, I don't, we don't think like that. You know, we don't think like that. We talked about. You know, positive self-talk at the beginning of the season. You know, we don't think like that. I had the sack, missed the sack. I get up, and then I tip the ball, too. Matt Milano has an interception, drops the interception, and the guy catches it. That's just, you know, you, I mean, that's, you know, that's just how it goes, you know. But, um, you know, the leadership in this locker room, the type of guys that we got in this, got in this locker room, we just line back up and do it again. And um, even though it was 20 to 3, like, we never felt like we was out of it. Um, the energy on the sideline was never negative. Uh, we never felt like the game was over. Uh, we were able to, uh, you know, going to half 10 to 20, get a three and out to start to the third quarter right after halftime, and you know everything is, is right back where we needed. Yeah, we started to rally like in the beginning of the game. You know, we had a lot of miscues like. Kind of Avon said, we gave them damn near 14 points with the two turnovers. And, you know, we can't have that. But, you know, that's part of football. When that thing is happening like that, it's like chin up, chest out. And we anticipated this being that kind of game. You know, things were going to happen. Adversity is going to hit. It's all about how you battle. And we ended up kind of getting things rolling going into the second half. We took the ball. So, you know, we weren't going to see the ball in the second half. But we leaned at our defense. We got some points. We leaned on our defense coming out. And things ended up shaking out how we wanted. Well, it's more like one play at a time, like kind of like a tribute to last week, things going down to the wire, hostile environment, away game. Uh, like he said, like when you're a good team, you got to beat the good teams. And, you know, you got to rally. You know, we was down 20 to 3. Some people probably was like, damn, the game's over. But nobody on the sideline was like that. We were trying to right the ship and, you know, holding on to the details. The details were what, we, what was messing us up. Like, we had some miscues on offense, put our defense in a bad spot. Uh, but we get back to being us and playing football. That's when things start going over. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird because it's just like, you know how as a parent, for all the parents down here, like when you tell your kid to do X, Y, Z, and it's like they don't listen and it doesn't go right, and then they listen and things start going how you said they were going to go. So uh, anticipating things going, like listening to the coach as far as like with situational football and honing in on the details. He says do your 111 thing. Uh, when everybody's doing their job and everybody's on the same page, things go right. I just got here. You know, I, mean, I, I don't know what I don't know what was going on before yeah. I got here. Like it's, it's 
you know, I, I don't know, you know, and I think, you know, ignorance is bliss. Mm -hmm. You know, we come in and, you know, the type of confidence that we have yeah. in ourselves and our game plan, like, I don't know, I don't know the stats, you know, that's, yeah. that's, y'all do a great job of doing research and looking yeah, stuff yeah, up, yeah. but, you know, I, I don't know, like, I, I go into the game thinking that we, you know, we have a chance to win any game versus any team, that's just how I think, and, you know, I think that energy just bleeds off on my teammates, so I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I'm going out to win each and every game when we go out there. You have been here. Yeah, I mean, it's a built narrative, like for sure. Like that's something that we, I wouldn't have known that stat. I didn't know that stat at all. But uh, I can tell you what Mitch Morris told me in the locker room after the game. And um, I'm sitting there, just you know, we're hanging out, thinking about how the game went. And Mitch was just saying, like, we've been here for some years now, you know, and it's been a consistent thing of you know, some games going our way, some games not going our way. He said it was good to feel like we've been there before. And so we've been down before, uh, we've rallied back before, you know, even like think, thinking back, it's been plenty of games we can attest to us coming back in the game and giving, having a chance. So uh, he said, we've been there before. We, we didn't shun, we weren't shy, we weren't nervous. We went in uh, chin up, chest out, and we was like, we went in with confidence that we were going to win the game. Yeah, damn. Every week, <laughs> every week, somebody. Yeah. Well, what's, what's that challenge like? You know, I, I, don't, I, I spoke highly of him in training camp as far as, like, how he how he uh, approaches the game. And uh, going into this game, he was active. But he never prepares like he's not ready. So uh, I had full confidence in him. And as guys, you know, things happen in football. People do go down. So uh, it's tough. You know, we send prayers for those guys and kind of have that mindset of the next guy up, you know, as leader on this team and then the captains on this team. Uh, we put a lot of pressure on the people who, even if they're not playing, or you know, what I'm saying you might not be active right in and there, you might have a shot, and you might get a, you might gotta make an example. You know, what I'm saying you gotta show that you what you got. Khalil stepped up at a crucial time. We got, we got some guys banged up. We gotta get healthy, but um, I got 100% confident in whoever they throw out there because we all prepared the right way. Hold ourselves to a high standard. You know, that's just how this team go. That was his first catch, right? As a, yeah. as a pro, his first catch as a pro, and he he caught the <laughs> ball. And I'm on the, I'm on the sideline, like, you know. Defense watching the game, like I'm on the sideline and he's covering the ball mm -hmm. up. You know, he's trying to get the first down. Like, you know, that's that, that's dope to see. You know, your young guys um, really take advantage of the opportunity when the opportunity presents itself. Last week was good medicine. Shit. Good medicine too. Right? <laughs> good medicine too. Like, you know, wins. Is, I mean, that's you know, you especially in pro sports, like you want to win the game. Like, you that's you play the game to win the game. And um, our organization and, you know, our community, is, you know, it's all about wins. You know, we, you know, you don't have the best weather or we got really great food where we from, but where we at, man, it's all about wins, man. It's all about making great plays, you know, bringing wins home to our fans. And, um, you know, to bring a, a tough win like this um, and, you know, make the plane do backflips on the way home. Oh, man, like, and then, again. Tell and when we again. land and see Bill's <laughs> Mafia outside the plane, like, this, this is what it's about, you know. Yeah. You know, it's all about wins in this league, for sure. Oh, man, it was great. Like, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a play, and, you know, I think it was a offensive pass interference, and the crowd goes crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's like, bro, what's, like, what's going on? Like, even at the hotel, and, like, you know, around, like, I had, uh, when he got some blue crab last night. It was hitting? Yeah, it was good, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Like, I went and got some blue crab last night, and you see all the, you know, the blue and, you know the white and the red. It's just it just feels good. Bills Mafia they they travel amazing, and it, it really feels good to you know go out there and not only get wins for your teammates and you know your family and your friends, but you know for this fan base who's been so hungry for wins like this and games like this. It, it feels it feels amazing. Scott, does it feel a little different for you to come back here and win you know, in front of people that you know can see you play where you grew up? In the yeah, I had like 50 people at the game. So aside from the people that you know I might not know personally, but came to support me. Uh, people that went to my college and high school and stuff like that. It, it's always a good feeling to win at home, but uh, it feels better just to win with this team at this point and where we at, you know, even if our last week when we had a bad taste in our mouth and we wanted to come out here with a win, but uh, to do it in front of my family, my friends, uh, it's a little added incentive, so I get to talk my junk. <laughs>